Hello everyone. Hello. Hi everyone. Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's woven here. So I'm at the Boma today in our house. I'm sure you can hear the background. I'm going to take you through today. It's plowing season. So we call the tractor, one of the tractors in the village to come and assist us with the plowing so we can start sowing. So you have seen this process already. I don't think it's going to be any different except today. I think we are doing a bit of a chunk. In our house, we just work, ne? Here in the north. You guys that are saying you want to come visit me, here we just work. So you must be prepared if I invite you to just come work. So um, I'm going to go now and join everybody else. They have already started uh, sewing. So I'm going to pick up Okakunwa Kange. Na amenjikata meke oku kuna. Yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. <laughs> it's nothing you have not seen. Yo, ask our house is full. Let me show you what it looks like in the field right now. I hope you guys enjoy the video and please continue subscribing and supporting me. Thank you so much. It looks like I don't even need to be here because our house is a full house and there's a serious attack. Let me show you guys. So the tractor started that side. First person you're seeing is Natalia. Penoke Ponto Venyaveli Kui. This is Costa, No Congo, Tomasa, Liwala, Iowa, Nangulao. New Natalia, let me just show you. Yeah, that's everybody. Takuna Kushekui. We are full house, so we never really feel the work. And then the tractor is there. The rest still has to be done today. All that still has to be done today. Oof, the work in this house now we must roll over stone so that we can plow here and this is the tractor waiting for us <laughs> okay guys it's about what it's about three o'clock four o'clock in the afternoon and we literally just finished the tractor guys also just finished and you can see behind me yo 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 um yeah that's how it looks like and then that one we could not go to the house so we Okay guys, so we have rested a bit. I'm actually very tired. We finished sewing, pay for art to follow. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So the mahangu. I don't even know how to explain it, man. But remember the, the other video, this one here. This one. Where and, and that's where the flower comes from i'll just show you the process i'm drained that's why i look like this okay so this is now uh, this has now softened it's not the other mahangu it is we have um I don't know you guys saw the process in the previous videos so it's easier to turn into flower and it won't bring the yellow flower to bring the white so that that's what it turns out to look like so that's basically how it looks like I don't understand why it's just the three that are pounding and everybody else is has scattered but yeah let me show you. Yeah, so when it's overflowing, 
home girl is talented. Yeah. That's how it should look like. So the mango will then start turning into flour and as you pound it will start doing that. Can you see it's coming off? So you just need to continue doing. So if you continue putting it back. But if you look closely, you can still see the grain. Let me show you. You can still see the brownish stuff. Is the grains that's turning into flour. Yeah. So eventually we'll sieve and then we'll, we'll start pounding again. Hi guys i don't like my lighting man but it's fine i don't know how that container got here but yeah um i don't know what day it is today but it's morning time and i'm having breakfast that's a great i am having kfc for breakfast <laughs> mm. and So I'm gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna head out today I'm doing my village rounds I'm visiting two grannies as usual when I come by I take them just you know to say uh on the apple and just to acknowledge that we know they are still here and we are thankful that they've raised us you know like I've showed you in my other videos Ugh, I forgot the tripod and the gimbal i'm just not in the mood today so i'm going to eat and then go do my gifts i think this vlog is long enough um i'll see if i'll continue but i'll just show you what's in one of the mbalis and then i will go to the other granny's house <laughs> When last did you see this? Oh, here, I hate myself while we're collecting firewood. I've been here for so long that wounds have even healed. When last did you see this? Coca-Cola one liter. And KFC in the north. Don't mind the ashy hands. I stay ashy here in the north. okay so this is my gift bag uh remember i told you my grandmother was in one of my videos okay so she's wetting it so that she's able to this is Loteka. Baby Loteka is a terrorist. This is to So this is what I have in here. In here these baskets we also use them as gift baskets. Yo, why are we fighting for the things? Gift bags, not gift <laughs> by the owner of the things. So basically you take your scarf. I would usually take something like this, but today's mall is a bit small. And you place your basket, you have to cover it. Lote. Loteka. Loteka. So in the in the Yo guys, kids are terrorists. Anyways, as I was saying, you have to cover your Tambula nindi, nito lape dopo ayo jepsa yo. 
It's not baby abuse, oh. <laughs> You saw our space gentle, but now he listened when I spoke to you. That's no way to speak to a baby. Don't talk to babies like that. Anyways, I digress. You must cover your gift like this, ne? So I take my scarf. You know, this is my favorite green that I'm going to today. Yeah, like this. And ena, ena, like that. Me, I'm putting a bow. Then you take this side, like so, eh? Like so, and you cross it off with your chips, and then can you see? Nice, like that. So now I'm going to make my rounds. This is the one I'm going to carry. Ah, it's very light. This is basically what I'm going to do. Hey, Chile, like so. Then I go. Photography 101. Let me show you. You must never have your source of light at your back. Can you see how dark it is? Now, if I turn it around, the sun is right. Can you see? Village block, but also giving photography lessons. You know, it's rainy season. And this is literally where we would usually pass. But our roads are closed off by the water so we are either going to walk through the water or check this out for us to bypass the water the water <laughs> we have to go through here man this is the neighbor's yard ours is that one I could have been a ballerina, eh? Back and continue. This is how we bypass the water. Uh -uh. Guys, ne? please help me understand. Why would anyone make the walkthrough or pass? through the stone bush whatever now we must come woods together with snakes and things Peter? what then we're going to do? <laughs> that's true why? is it necessary? uh uh guys sometimes we really create unnecessary problems for ourselves oh this is Jimmy but I don't think it's their season man these are very nice we eat them when they arrive but I don't think it's their season. Yeah. Okay, if you look behind, turn the camera around. Turn the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look behind, that's the water, but then it has come to an end. So, time to go back to the normal path. Hermanos. VJ. You know, when we were growing up, you'd be beaten for because we are damaging making space there but back to the normal part and you see the book shop are fast approaching and the lady i'm going to visit is this side yeah guys nice, uh so i have a pocket but my money keeps falling out my nails broke. I have 50 bucks just in case, like the people when I meet them in the cookah shops, they always ask, like, please buy for me tombo. So I always carry a bit of money. Do you know how our aunts used to carry their money? A health hazard. I know. But it's the safest way. You put the money in the bra to never fall out like that. Horse riding is still very, very common here. 
and we use horses as a mode of transport. My uncle is a lot. He said he wants to be photographed on the horse. He's a lot. A lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, my uncle stopped me <coughs> for horse riding and now we are drinking Ombiki. Hey, guy. Ombiki, you better be your heart on Ombiki. Hey. How's that? Hey, you want to? Hey, you want to? Oh, wait, I'm just going to get it. I'm 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 going to get it. You guys, I had a bit of a big thing. But you can't just watch the elders, like, you don't just buy the mbike and leave the people to drink. And that's what I was doing. So I'm leaving the cooker shops now. When I come back, Otombo, it must go in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can see I'm leaving the cooker shops behind to continue with my journey. Yeah, I can't hear you. So I've arrived, but can you see that little white path? This one, oh, here, Koka, it's a small gate. But in the Oshwambo tradition, when you go to people's houses, you have to use the big gate. The reason why you see this house is not complete is because they are relocating. They are just starting to build now again. So I'm going to the main gate to go and you greet while you are at the main entrance. Almost like shouting and not shouting. Yeah. Can you see? Oh, this is open space. But I just have to walk past. I can't just pass through here. Open space. And I just know which one is the, the door. The main gate. The main door. I just know. All this open space i'm just leaving it i can just enter because this is the house but i can't just enter through any opening i'm going to stop filming now because it's awkward for the people when i go inside the house yeah i'm going to stop here for now so i'm at my favorite granny's house and i found her brewing the thing i found it brewing Moonshine, as they call it, I found a brewing on BK. You see, this one is a bit different. She's using a vela lodge stand. There is the cotton. Pekanga, don't you give me? I go come on. Oh, yeah, sorry, sing out your papa. Big. Hey, you lot of lamam? Oh, it's a lamamiana. Oh, my dinner. Oh, my dinner. It's a man dinner. Hey. Uh -huh. So she's taking out the water because the water you can see the smoke it's hot now and she's going to put in cold water from here because the hot water makes it turn into just water it, it loses flavor so you need to keep it cool there. I was given a shikundu. You don't come into people's houses and not get anything. So, what time must you come? I'm in Jolly Marazo. Hey, good morning, everyone. I pay for that. I want. I want. I'm still at my favorite grinning. I'm going to go to this is um a type of it's not my panny one but it's a type of worm that you eat. 
I just go prepare it. I don't know. Okay, I can't work it at the But I'm still here. You can see I'm still here. So she gave me as a snack. So maybe she's going to get a bit more because I told her. You guys, you can see this basket that's on my head is way bigger. I am. There's probably insects in my teeth. Sorry. It's way bigger. I'm super excited. So when you visit the Ovambo people, when you go bearing gifts, they also give you a gift. This basket is way bigger and it's heavier. So she definitely gave me a basket as a gift and I don't know what is inside. I'll go open it home. <laughs> so guys, I'm back from my granny slash... Yeah, but you can see my basket is bigger. My basket is bigger because this is definitely not the basket I came with and it's heavier. So let's open it together. So in the Oshwambo household, when you visit Howie? someone, I'm going to... when you visit someone, you go with a basket. But when you come back, when they give back your basket, because they don't take the actual basket, they just take the gifts inside. They then put something in. You can't just give it back empty. They put something in either spinach or evander, something. And let's see what she put in firstly she oh, oh, hey i took her beer so she just brought my empty okay. okay yeah so so first things first you can see this is what i covered my mbale with she gave me olele and she gave me sorghum guys all this sorghum she gave me you know but this one you just put in the water a bit all these things will come off and then on top of that she gave me an entire basket she gave me an entire basket look at this so i i have a collection of baskets that i receive so i'm adding this to my collection but yeah, that is really it. I'm going to end this vlog here. I started in the morning saying I'm going to end, end it. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Again, please consider subscribing if you liked this video. And just thank you so, so much. We've grown the channel and it's just because of you guys. From me, we for now. It's goodbye.